Ladies and gentlemen, I am your Planetary Defense Commander, and please allow me to say Happy Veterans Day out there to all the veterans before, now, and in the future. My stepfather was in the Air Force. My father was in the Air Force. My dad's brothers, Chuck, Bob, and Butch, were in the military, and my stepsister, Angela, with the lion heart, was in the Air Force. And so, let us all give thanks and honor those who stand on the wall protecting us in this world. And I would like to ask both political parties to do what they can to end all wars. Yes, it is possible. And at the very least, do what you can to take care of our soldiers and give them the best health care and treatment out there they deserve better health care than our politicians i think we can all agree on that all right the energy is very weird today and we got a big storm that is firing up and storms headed into the northwest pacific and things are a bit wild and highly anomalous because not only is mercury retrograding in scorpio we have mercury transiting the sun as we speak we got a full moon in taurus tomorrow and last night i had a dream about selena gomez it's weird i've been dreaming about my crushes all week and then i wake up and realize i haven't even put my sheets on my mattress so it was the best of times it's the worst of times and hurricane season isn't over yeah, that's right we have a possible hurricane coming in the middle or near the end of november Though our atmospheric defense has done so great this year, I ain't that worried about it. The West Pacific hasn't been as lucky this year, and they're dealing with quite a few things right now, and the Mediterranean is even dealing with a Medicane. A Medicane is like a candy cane that sucks on you if you are in the area that invented hummus. I just made that up. A developing Medicaid is threatening areas from Italy to Western Greece with another round of flooding rain. Justin Cowart is letting us know we have another one of those situations where it looks like a volcano on Mars has erupted, but it's not actually a volcano eruption. But you know what? If there's something your media and your politicians are either going to lie to you about or distract you from, it's volcanoes. With all the gas giants being on the same side of the sun, we're going to see a lot of volcano and earthquake activity in the next five years. We have another gender reveal gone horribly wrong, but in good news, it was a boy. Selena's got great hips, and the way her neck connects to the shoulders is something spectacular. What's it talking about? Yeah, it's true. We are in a minimally solar minimum um, as the sun has decided to take a nap. And so I am excited about the next solar maximum. And I got a feeling it is going to surprise some people, including you. I can feel the snow weenies chomping at the bit to hear me talk about Winter Storm Caleb. And backwards, that's Belak. We'll bring five to 18 inches of snow to the interior northwest through tomorrow and one to five inches across Midwest Great Lakes, northeast, and even as far as Tennessee. We got a volcano eruption of Klyuchuskeskervolf DFW, which is Dallas, Fort Worth, and Arlington has seen an almost 20 degree drop in temperatures in an hour as the cold front moved through, winds gusting to 44 miles per hour. I like when a cold front blows in. Eric Webb doing his best Spider-Man impression with some bright banding, and that joke sucked. Awkward silence pause. And the United Kingdom, which seems a bit divided over what to do on Brexit, is dealing with some cyclonic showers as well, plus some lightning bolts. Think of me, baby. We had a 4.9 earthquake near Waimei, in Hawaii, 
And this would be a good time for me to tell people if you live in California around Christmas, you may want to take a vacation somewhere else. Because when that full solar eclipse comes in, combined with the low airs point, I fear we may get earthquake activity. The wildfire situation in Australia is pretty horrific. And it kind of looks like volcano emissions to me. Yeah, it has volcanoes there, dude. Jacqueline Whittall letting us know that there is an Ontario storm happening. And it is snowing. It's like a white Christmas in November. In the beaches, Toronto. Really quite pretty here now. Way more snow than this is coming. Too much information. Back in the lower 48, Lindsay Anderson. <laughs> the back edge of snow is about to move through KCI and will continue to track southeast over the next hour or two. The snow will taper off at the following times for each city. You can pause this and track the times in the most peculiar way. But yeah, what's happening is you're having that big storm blow through a lot of places, from Texas all the way up to Nova Scotia, and then you're getting a flash freeze to follow, which is always hard to peg. TDS weather, aside from snowfall today and tonight, another significant threat will be cold temperatures. Any moisture or slush on roadways will flash freeze tonight as temperatures drop into the single digits or middle teens. It will feel like negative 15 to the single digits for Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Man, cheese curds sound so good right now. Thunder, sleet, hail, heavy rain, oral sex, verified. What more could you ask for? Now, let's watch Mother Nature blow through the majority of the lower 48 all the way to the middle of the shaft of Florida. And Eric Berger from Space City Weather letting us know that the latest modeling of front position at 5 p.m. Central today, if you're driving down to the Gulf Freeway home from work, it may be possible to open doors and coast on wind power alone. Not that they would recommend it. Like I said, it's going to be really blowy out. Cranky weather guy letting us know that after a two to three day cold snap, we will rebound as the Pacific comes to play for a spell. Next window of notable activity remains for the fourth week of the month. Still think remnant front may prove of non-tropical simmering interest just before then. However, yeah, dude, if you look at the models, it gets kind of wacky. So we're looking at our storm extend out from Nebraska all the way up to Ottawa with some sleet in the middle from Missouri and Oklahoma and rain for Arkansas and Mississippi going into Tennessee. And then it's going to stretch and extend all the way out and everybody under to the south and east will get affected by some type of mixed precipitation except for South Florida, because y'all are so special. That's right. Either rain, sleet, snow, or ice are going to do a hop, skip, and a jump to your territory as the big Arctic blast polar vortices right into your face or your house. Look at that. And then you got a whole lot of really cold air that follows with those multiple highs and then we'll do it all over again. Did I tell you we're going to look at models? Let's look at models. Hold your horses as we look at the dippy down, dippy doo. Have you looked? Okay, great. Oh, I'm teasing the ladies. Wait, what? Why are you blue? Okay, what happened now? Great. Now I look like a fool. That eh, wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, you can see a lot of colors. It's like the middle of winter and the middle of fall. All right. So... We're looking at the models, I think, together, you and I. And I want George and the family to watch over by North Carolina because you're going to be getting a lot of kind of weird weather. Now, they don't come on shore by the model's predictions, but things are apt to change over the next few days. 
as these models are really kind of shaky, sketchy, and unreliable. Now, it is showing a big kind of Thanksgiving storm for the middle of the United States, and we got to watch those areas of interest. And notice how one like turns around and goes back, and it whacks New York, and then it goes back out. Now, they've been doing a good job in atmospheric defense of separating the low from the convection, so that doesn't really allow any rapid intensification. So at this point, we're not worried about anything major, but we'll keep an eye on it. Ooh, I think we're going to get snow in Houston this year. That may be wish casting, but either way, it's very interesting. Now, let's go to the Euro. The Euro's all types of WTF jacked up in my opinion I mean look at see you get that major storm around the 20th for the east coast which may or may not come ashore you're getting a bunch of double strangly do's yeah I should slow it down it goes pretty fast huh here we go all right let's go back do 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 okay so this is today as we can see our windy iso bars and then as by tuesday the storm will have pressed past texas and then it goes and wax greenland like it was angry or greenland owed a lot of money and then look at that whole like this is a w giant wtf man all the way from england to florida just a bunch of strangled out strange lows and then a big low forms and it kind of dips down and up towards the east coast, but doesn't make contact. And then you got another one that follows with a bunch of buckshot. Or is it quail shot? Is quail shot even a thing? And then look, a little hurricane or tropical storm that wants to push in, though most models take it out to sea. It's something we will watch for sure. But I'm just saying things are pretty crazy right now, man. Pretty crazy, you know. I mean, we're going to get some wild weather at the end of November, it would appear. If I sound down, it's only because my dream was so lifelike. If I mentioned her hips, I should probably let it go. If you were in the green or yellow, you were looking at heavy possible snowfall over the next 48 hours. So congratulations. Get your hot toddies ready. King of Weather Twitter showing us all the severe weather crayons. Statements are well populated. HWO's handling the other fringe, lighter, and final sweep of wintry prospects for now. So you got your winter storm warnings, you got your gale warnings, you got winter weather advisories, lakeshore flood advisories, small craft advisories, gale witch watches, freeze witch watches, special weather statements, and hazardous weather outlooks for quite a few people across the United States. And yeah, we got a couple colder days in tow yet, but the bulk will not translate, and it will move along. Move along, move along, move along. Is baking and frosting Christmas cookies with Selena really too much to ask, universe? Oh, it was 11-11 today, and so at 11-11, did you make a wish? I won't spoil it, but I did. Engineer Irene Chiorez. Here we see it in real time. The center of the sun has already passed. It has been an unforgettable experience. What other events does the universe have for us? Emoji, 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 emoji. Super thanks and appreciation again to all of our wonderful, mighty military. You know, I definitely wouldn't still be doing this if it wasn't for all the awesome men and women and animals in our armed services because if you're willing to put your life on the line every day for the beacon of freedom i am too i appreciate you more than you know and also you know i've gotten a lot of death threats since 2013 i got a funny feeling i wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for our wonderful military i love you guys in downer news, the death toll climbs as Cyclone Bulbul lashes east in India, Bangladesh. Liana Brackett, who can hack it? Why? Hello, winter. But wait, winter isn't supposed to be officially here until December 21st. 
I'm not mentally prepared for these cold temps just yet, are you? Yeah, it's usually always the same temperature in my foxhole. Um, 140 records broken for an Arctic blast. So go ahead and have a boner, Grand Solar Minimum crew. You deserve it. So now we're looking at our projected precipitation. What are you doing to me? Over the next few days. I love you. Person listening to the video. I appreciate everybody. It'll be my seven year anniversary. In 12 days. Man, what a wild ride it has been. I appreciate you guys sticking around and sticking with me. I've had my ups and my downs. Kind of like you have. Because I don't know if you know this, but since 1999, it's been kind of a downer worldwide and especially in the lower 48 although i'm sure alaska has been partying like it was 1999 the whole time sagittarius which is me if i don't protect you do i even love you well you don't have to worry about it because i love you and i do what i can to protect you guys but please remember now is the time for us all to work together and stop letting social networking the media Politicians program you to hate people you don't even know to distract you from solutions we need to be seeking as a planet and as a country for all the legacy problems that we have stacking up totally, you know? Okay. And I'm sorry, I really didn't mean to make this Veterans Day salute so sexual. Severe weather EU stratosphere update. Polar vortex will reach peak strength early next week, then start to weaken fast. Models are trending towards multiple warming phases to extend the weakening cycle. So, there's going to be an interesting end to... Why you keep flipping around on me? Oh, you want to talk about this? We can do that. Now what's happening? I'm going crazy. What do you expect after seven years of being in the middle of the right and the left, the conservatives and the liberals, trying to give everybody good information and say, hey, dude, I wouldn't trust any of this political divide-and-conquer bullshit. You know? Oh, man, I screwed it all up. Okay, well, everybody have a great day, and I'll probably be talking to you in the near future. Stay cool. God bless everyone, and please let us live long and prosper together. Thank you, soldiers. Seriously, you guys are fantastic.